My name's Joan Birdsong. I'm the terminal manager with the Rancho Dominguez, California terminal, and we're a uh, company store, warehouse, truck, and do harbor work out of this location. So I, I warehouse Haas machines. I have Herco machines. I have printing presses. I have uh, all sorts of freight. So as you can tell, we also have some used machines here. Some companies, they'll move and then they will, like in six months, get enough cement in their property to get their machines on there. A lot of customers, they've got to reinforce okay. what they have in order to get their machines in there. So this warehouse that we're in right now has got plenty of reinforced uh, concrete, but you're yes. saying the facilities these are going to, they need to have? Right, especially the bigger machines. We can unload up to 84,000 pounds. Here. So what kind of equipment, Joan, do we use to ship these then? Uh, you know, like what trucks are we, are we uh, using? Double drops, them? yeah, double drops, low boys. Um, you know, some of them are pretty heavy. We got one out there today. We're picking up, it's 81,000. We're gonna load it this afternoon. So and how, how many square feet is this warehouse, Joe? 75,000. 75,000 square feet. Okay. Yes, and as you can tell, it is packed. <laughs> Good. And then we just opened a 30,000 square foot warehouse. We're going to put a lot of our smaller machines. We've got a bunch over there right now. Oh, so you're literally storing like current new inventory. They'll sell right out of your facility. Exactly. Okay. And a lot of times we'll be trucking them because we charge them to load an outside truck. Okay. Now is that... For anything, you know, any product we have that they'll send in a outside carrier and we will load them and charge the customer for loading that truck. If we truck it, we don't load them. So your primary relationship there is with Oxnard, you said, California? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but they're selling all over the U.S. So some of this stuff is going, you know, all 48? Yeah, yes it is. And we do a lot of Laredo, Texas. Um, we do some of the exports coming out up there too, you know, going across to China or to Taiwan or... Wow. Yeah. Hey Tim, yes, ma this is Chris from our Georgia office. So now where, where are you headed with this load today? Carolina, Tennessee, all over Carolina, about five stops. Yeah. <laughs> You're going cross country? Yes sir. Oh my God. A lot of them are rigor stops and everything and they're like really short distance and everything. And what we have to do is call everybody before we load the truck. Oh really? We got to make sure everybody can accept it. Because once he's rolling out of here, then you know, yeah. you're in a lot of a lot of trouble if you haven't already made appointments with everybody. Is that pretty typical, Joan, that you'll be able to do a multi-stop load like this, or is there mm -hmm. a lot of one deep? It, it pays better. Yeah. He's got a lot of the, uh, smaller machines on there, and when you got the smaller ones, multiple, it, it, it pays them. So really, you are kind of a blend between overflow warehousing, kind of cross stocking a little bit or, or at least right kind of and and some of these bigger machines they're here because they haven't sold them yet okay. but they'll pay the storage until they're sold i've been in the transportation business for 40 years i specialize just in machinery now and we do ltls out of here full truckloads oversized and a lot of harbor work with machinery only if somebody's got a container that's got 1200 cartons in it not for us. We only do machines here. Okay. 